establishment. Uh, How, people hate deceit, to hear that. What a deceit we yes. have in America today. It is so subtle, and it's all around us. It's like, I mean, the Brotherhood is the filter that the stars rise up through. So here we have yeah. Demi Moore. And of course, she was a rising star. Yeah. And she just had a Kabbalistic wedding. Yeah, she is a, she is a Kabbalist, and uh, she she's married to, uh, to Ashton Kutcher, a Jewish Kabbalist. Well, you know, they had the Hollywood Oscars this week, and it was basically a Jewish festival. Right. And and it, we're not talking about. It uh, was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it's not. In fact, there's an article that I saw in Jerusalem Post that came out yesterday, and it said. They say we own Ho Hollywood. We do. So what? Yeah. As a Jerusalem Post, like, yeah, we own it now. All We're right. finally willing to admit it. Well, uh, how could they hide it? Well, they really can. You know, the John Stewart, who uh, mm. MC the awards, was uh, was Jewish. All right. Uh, Sandra Bullock, bless her heart, and I love her. She was. She's Jewish. Uh, so we we have a Jewish festival. They own Hollywood. They've always owned it. Uh, a man named Gabriel wrote a book some years ago, and. Jews uh, actually bought the book in great numbers. It was it was called "An Empire of Their Own: uh, How the Jews Took Over and Now Control Hollywood." Well, have a look at this clip. Play this clip, Shag. This is this is Madonna, the Material Girl, the Material Girl, and right. you know because she was such a whore, and then represents yes. the Madonna, <laughs> right? You know she is. Oh, I see the, what you mean. She's the, the mother of the whore and, and of yet Babylon. It's a mocking of the. Uh, Mary. Exactly. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And her videos uh, express that. Yes. I mean, we've yeah. got war, hell on wheels. There's always, it seems, something about to blow up around Madonna, which brings us to the latest controversy. Her new documentary, I'm going to tell you a secret. <laughs> Clearly, her belief in Kabbalah, the study of Jewish mysticism, has deeply affected her. Is the young woman who once so publicly rejected the Catholic faith of her childhood now Jewish? You attend Jewish services now. Well, that's what some people think. Um, I don't attend Jewish services. Straighten us out. Well, I hear the Torah, but I'm not Jewish, and nor have I converted to Judaism. I think I'm connecting to something that predates religion. Okay, hold it there. <laughs> the Jews who are not Jews, you know? It they they openly admit they practice this Kabbalism. Hollywood's rife with it, uh, but yet we're all left out of the loop. You know what's going on? You know? Well, first of all, you have to ask yourself, what is the Kabbalah? The Jewish yes. Kabbalah. It's spelled about three ways, but uh, wh whichever way it's spelled, it means the same thing. Now, if we look at the Kabbalah, it's a system of sorcery, witchcraft, and magic. And there are a number of Jews who are opposed to the Kabbalah. We need to know that first of all. Right. And yet there are even Orthodox Jewish rab uh, rabbis, the Lubavitchers and others, who have embraced Kabbalah. But Kabbalah uh, comes really literally all the way back from Babylon. Yes. Uh, and, and it was Babylonian magic of the worst kind. And it polluted the, uh, the Jewish uh, uh, religion and faith. Uh, but today, uh, there's not only the Talmud, which is the holy book of the Jews, but there is the Kabbalah. Now, there are many volumes. The Zohar is probably the most prominent. But what I want people to know, it is a combination of many occult disciplines, numerology, astrology, literally... Uh, making the Hebrew alphabet into idols. Uh, so, and, and colors, there's even colors yes. that, that make it. If you notice she was wearing red, mm -hmm. that's the primary color of the Kabbalah and also of the whore of Babylon, according to the book of Revelation, the Bible, Revelation 17. Wait, go back. Now, Albert Pike, who was sovereign grand commander of Freemasonry, uh, back in the Civil War, and he's he is actually recognized today and honored by Freemasons around the world as the par excellence role model for all Masons. Mm -hmm. He, the, I see you have his book here. Yes, that was given to me at the yeah. Temple of the Thirty Third. Yeah, here we have Morals and Dogma, the classic textbook of Freemasonry. We have the double-headed eagle symbol on the front cover. I got some of that on there. So. Okay, now Albert Pike said this about Freemasonry in this very book. He says that Freemasonry is based almost totally on the Kabbalah. Yes. Jewish magic. Yes. 
Uh, and uh, many Jewish rabbis have admitted this, and they say that in all of the rituals of Freemasonry, you will find the Kabbalah, the system of magic of the Jews. Uh, for example, the 30th degree of Freemasonry is the Knights of Kadosh. Yes. And it involves uh, skulls and black robes and uh, a, a knight, knight uh, laying in a coffin speaking from the dead. Yes. Uh, and all of this, this uh, uh, turning to the God of the underworld, the gods of the underworld, is all related to Jewish Kabbalah because they believe in necromancy, yes. communication with the dead. Uh, and they also believe that it is their goal as gods, once you become a Kabbalistic master, and they believe that at the in the last days, a Kabbalistic master will come upon the earth and there will be a Jewish utopia, a new world order of the Jews, right. and all Gentiles who convert at least to Kabbalah. Now, they, they don't have to convert to Judaism. Right, as but, Madonna was saying. But they must go along with what are called the Noahide laws and be good Gentiles and go along with Kabbalah. Uh, and if they, if they are, and if they recognize that the Holy Spirit is the serpent, mm -hmm. the great universal serpent, they actually believe the one swallowing his tail, right. the Ouroboros serpent, is the Holy Spirit. And by the way, that's uh, also taught in the 32nd degree of Freemasonry that that is, the serpent is the Holy Spirit. Right. And he is going to encircle the earth with his doctrine and bring forth this great Kabbalistic master. We would call him the Antichrist in Christianity, to be honest. So this is just a, a, a member of a number of their doctrines. Now, Madonna may have got into it because she, she lacks the magic. She thinks she can get miracles. From it. Right. She can enhance her power. Well, she raised to the top. Yeah, she can be like a witch who can charm the world and bring enchantment. Yeah, and she has then, raised to the top by worshiping, I think, nothing but Lucifer. Yes. And look at her. Yeah, well, this, this is. is Brittany. Oh, now, this, oh yeah, Brittany. One yeah. picture there. She she actually passed on the Madonna ship to Brittany, and then Madonna became Esther. You know, I never had thought of that till you told me about that, Freeman. That kiss. The kiss. Uh, because in all of the Kabbalistic secret society rituals, they are based on a foundation of tantra or sexual ritual. Yes. Uh, and that's the meaning, by the way, of the G in Freemasonry. You have the square and the compass, mm -hmm. and they're mounted on each other. It's right. the male mounting the female, and they become as one. Right. So here we see a, a, a beginning of the sexual act on TV, Right. And notice also you have the wedding of white and black. Exactly, yes. And everything is done in a ritual here. Uh, and uh, it, it's an amazing thing. Notice that uh, uh, Madonna facing the audience, she is uh, uh, to the uh, left in terms of her orientation, not the audience's. Right. Uh, and Brittany is on the right. So you have the old, the evil, and now she is going to initiate the innocent newcomer. Right into her role. I and this never is why I go to the next shot. You told me, and and I began to see the significance of this. And then she so comes out dressed as a bride. Uh, as a bride, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's the bride of of Satan in a sense. Yeah.
I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice. Tumbling down the rabbit hole? Hmm? You could say that.